Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to command multiple actors, multiple selected actors. So here you can see I can drag and select multiple actors. Now these houses do not implement more, uh, navigable interface so therefore they don't move obviously. But when I select characters they can move and as you can see here they are moving to the location that I give them. So yeah, let's see how to do this in this episode. And as always, we are using C++. And before we get started, I may remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. I'll leave the link in description below. Once you become a member, you can download anything without any limits. So feel free to check it out and here you can watch all the episodes that i covered in this series so you can implement from scratch everything you see here by following these tutorials and also if you want to follow something similar to this in blueprints this strategy tutorial series i have done exclusively using blueprints so feel free to check it out as well i'll leave the links to everything in description all right, now let's see how to implement uh, command in multiple selected actors today. Right, so this is what we have at the moment. We can select multiple characters, but we can't command them. But we can select one character and we can command it. So and what I want to implement is a way to command multiple characters. Okay, so to do that, as always, we are going to use C++. So, because we have been implementing everything in C++ here. Okay, so this is top-down player controller. This is the header file, and this is the C++ file. So, we have already implemented this selection of actors. And I have this selected actors. Uh, array which I store all the selected actors that I get from top down HUD here get selected actors so I implemented it in the last time so now what I want to do is I want to filter only the selectable actors and then put them in the selected actors instead of putting all the actors that I get from the top down heart because here we are not checking if they are all selectable actors or not. The way that we check that is using this selectable interface. Okay, so to do that, so just like here, I'm gonna need another array. Instead of directly putting them into selected actors, here I'll have a new actor. Let's call it all selected actors. Or maybe just all actors. No, that's confusing. All actors returned from the top down hunt. So I'll just keep calling them all selected actors then I'll iterate through all of them here and then if this actor implements this selectable interface then I'll add that actor into selected actors it's an unique in case we have multiple references some actor and before we get here i'll empty all the actors in the selected actors so select actors okay now everything should work without any difference but still we are not 
we haven't implemented multiple actor commands but let's get into that in a bit let's just see so far how things are yeah this working as before still no commanding of multiple actors okay so now let's go to our function where we here this command selected actor so let me rename this instead of actor let's call it command selected actors because now that there is a possibility we will have multiple actors instead of one all right now here if selected actors now is larger than zero that means we have uh, multiple actors that we can command and here also i need to iterate through all the actors so we can use the same function uh, same follow So here actually we are not checking if we are implementing selectable interface we need to check if we are implementing navigable interface like this and then if yes we need to uh, give this this execute more to location this is the function that we need to execute the interface function so but before that we need to check if we have a blocking hit so i think we should do this step here if we don't have a blocking hit we don't need to do anything we can just do an early return so yes okay now if we are coming to this part that means we do have a valid target location so here we can use this execute on some actor hit result location so we don't need this part anymore because we are already doing that here previously okay and now this is only required when we have a single actor selected so instead of this f let's replace it with the else this okay all right now let's select everything and save everything go here compile all good yeah, test yeah it's working i can come on multiple actors now but they are piling into the same location because we haven't implemented any kind of coordination between them maybe there is something we should leave for another episode or maybe just to have some different targets let's do something like this here let's add uh, int i equals the actors num divided by two and divided by minus two so we will have like a negative value starting negative value and then here i'll increment i and then let's add to this an f factor to this maybe change them along y direction 
this. This. So they should be in like a line instead of trying to go to the same exact location. okay so yeah i think we can stop this episode right here so thanks for watching so in upcoming episodes let's look into how to do more advanced stuff so yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comments and see you in another episode goodbye